Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and... This is Pahamar. And welcome to episode 34 of Material Energy Hypercubed. Cubed, cubed, cubed. Pahamar. Direwolf. Did you see my trees? I did, and I was very confused. Why? Because we were making cookies. Nuts Are we to not cookies. making cookies anymore? No, I gave up on cookies. We're not making 50 octuple compressed cookies. It took us a million oh, years to get one. Done. What? The sugar cane is done. The sugar cane is done. Uh, look what happens when I turn on this thing. Ouch, I hurt. Wow. That's what happens. Right? Is this for apples? Uh, no. Or whatever this it is. This is for charcoal. Charcoal. Yes. So if you look in our AE system, so we need, we need, what do we need? We need a thing. It's a million? We need, we need, no, we don't need a million. We need... Um, well, we have a million wood. We need 100,000 blocks of charcoal, which would be 900,000 charcoal. So we have enough wood already. Why are you going on with this insanity? Because uh, I wanted you to see how awesome it was and how fast it ran. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it is. It took maybe half an hour of just letting that run. Only half an hour to make a hundred thousand, sorry, one million trees. Well, one million wood. Not a million trees. Be all technical on me. I gladly shall. Um, so that's that. You might also notice, by the way, that remember last episode I set up this system over here? Uh, I don't remember seeing this last episode. Yeah, look in the chest. That's a lot. Oh, you told me about this. I just didn't actually look at it. Yes. So what I did was I um, break down water to get H2O and hydrogen and oxygen. And then I broke down blocks of charcoal to get carbon because you need carbon. And then you combine that to get carbon black. And then you use one carbon black gets one ink sac. And we need a million black glass. And a million black glass, black glass, the crafting recipe is um, glass times eight plus one ink sac equals eight stained black glass. So basically one ink sac equals eight glass. So 125,000 ink will equal one million glass, right? Sure. I'll be honest, I wasn't terribly paying attention. I have enough ink. Yeah. Look in the AE system at our ink. See? That's a lot of ink. Well, we need a million black glass, and it's eight glass per ink. So a million Let's divided by eight. Let's see what you did. We have two secrets. Did you find it? You found a trophy. I found a trophy. I'm very proud of myself. I was flying where around in it? absolute boredom because we've reached the point where I've automated most of the things that need to be automated and it's just sit and wait time. Um, and I'll explain some of the other things I did for automation between uh, last episode and this one. So clearly I just took the farm and put saplings in there instead of, ah, what happened to me? I got bored. Yeah. Well, you haven't been sitting on this map for hours waiting for things to craft. You probably just like logged in and idled. Probably. Um, so we're kind of ready for charcoal. I just need to start smelting it, which shouldn't be too bad because I'm waiting on another process. Uh, black glass is really what I'm looking to do. But yes, yeah, so let's look at the things that are done. Uh, lost in time. Uh, Sugarcane is done. So feel free to claim reward on that. I did. I got uh, a couple sets of spawners. I got golden wings, which you may notice I'm not wearing fairy wings anymore. Oh. And Seth Bling's head, which is right above the entrance here. Oh my. Poor Seth Bling. I know. I don't even know what he did to deserve it, but uh, yeah. he's dead and we have his head. That's a shame. Sorry, Seth Bling. Um, I feel like he needs a sign above it saying, Seth Bling here. Yeah. Uh, apparently I never me. handed in the Fright Night quest, so I just crashed by claiming reward on that. Why, thank you, sir. Um, but it's completed in my book now, so yay. Um... And then secrets, I got two secrets done, so claim reward. Yeah, did you know about the uh, AE one? Uh, what do you mean? Well, the ones on the right side of the secrets page mm -hmm. are generally like... Secret secrets? Not, yeah, secret secrets. 
Well, I have a um, AE2 spatial IO called Deep Space Forgecraft. Ooh. Yeah, what's up? I want to go load it because I don't know if there's much more in this one that's really worth looking at. Well, wait, look at chemistry. Ooh. I should have made you do the uh, chemistry one, the last one. Why? Because it was condensed matter, bio enhancements, bio alchemy. Yeah, look up the recipe for bio alchemy. <laughs> Did you look it up? I'm looking it up. Bio, bio modifier and oh, red matter. <laughs> Parcel. <laughs> yes. So I should have made you do that quest. Um, all that was was just mine chem crafting. Um, so UUX is condensed matter. That's just. Um, I'll show you guys. That's just matter 125. So it was just the um, fusion stuff. Um, bio modifier. Ooh, yeah. Needs an annoyingly complicated crafting mechanic. Um, and bioalchemy has even more annoyingness. And red matter is 500. The trick to red matter, by the way, is that tin is um, is uh, element number 50. So we had a lot of tin, and it was very easy to turn element 50 into element 500, as you can probably imagine. I would gather. Yeah. Powers of 10 and all that fun stuff. Um, so I worked on that. So we've got all the ink we need. Right now I'm working on crafting glass. If you look in our AE system, you'll see we have about 100,000 glass. And I'm crafting cobblestone at the same time. You can see I've got multiple molecular assemblers going at once trying to craft cobblestone for us. Where are you? What are you Did doing? I, I'm in the dungeon. What, underneath the weather thing area? Yep. I was showing you all the cool stuff I worked on between last episode and this. Yeah, but... Well, fine. I'll show my YouTube audience. I'm not going to push to talk anymore. Oh, be like that. So, guys, here's where I'm crafting glass. Removing push to talk. Ah, uh, I've got pulverizers. But I'm exploring. And I found two green heart canisters. Oh, I'm so excited. With export buses. You're a meanie. I know. One thing I found out is that there's a limit to how much energy pulverizers can accept per side, so I actually needed to connect all four sides of the pulverizer. Plus, um, there's a tesseract underneath, which is sending the items out. So you can notice um, items are set to export out the bottom. So it's sending the items okay, into the system. Okay, down here, it's actually kind of interesting. Oh, there's the weather. Yeah, kill the weather for me, would you? Um, so that's that. I needed all five sides because power restrictions. But the reason I need so much power, obviously, is because I have a Torturino going at times four speed. So these guys are actually augmented with, you know. Oh, there's got to be a spawner in here. And then these three here are sand in the glass. So you can see we're just export busing sand. A weather spawner? Yeah, I think so. Well, that's unfortunate for you. Yeah, there is, because now there's a bunch of withers. And this is where I'm crafting um, compressed cobble, double compressed cobble, triple compressed Stop cobble. Stop picking on me. Down to cobblestone. So that's my glass factory. Um, unfortunately, look how fast this is running. Okay, I want you guys to pay attention to this. Look how fast this is going, right? Three of these going this fast, right? I want you to know that according to my calculations with a stopwatch, in order to get a million pieces of glass is going to take me nine hours. So that's fun. And I'm just too lazy to expand the system any more than it currently is. I mean, if I wanted to, I could probably have like, you know, ten sets of these, but that just sounds terrible. Also, I'm kind of tapping out my reactor and I, you know, meh. I might just leave my computer on overnight and come back tomorrow and it should be done. But that's the plan. So export busing um, cobble into sand, export busing sand into glass, and crafting cobble. So I'm just saying, like, craft a million cobble, and then eventually all that cobble will get converted right, with into it's sand on. into glass. Cool? All right, so my YouTube audience knows all the cool things I did between last episode and this one. How's your wither fight going? Because we haven't seen enough of those this, uh, this series. You actually did turn off push to talk. What's that? 
Yeah, I did. You actually did. Wow. Well, I didn't turn it off. I just didn't push it. Didn't you notice I didn't talk for five minutes to you? <laughs> I figured you were just, like, exceedingly boring for a little while. That That is standard direwolf. I won't, I won't lie. Where now, is there the are a spawner? lot of zombies here who are like, I want direwolf to die. There's also a lot of withers here who are like, I want Pothmar to die. But I think oh, I got the spawner. Oh, that's good. Thank goodness for lifesteal. Yeah, lifesteal is 100% where it's at when you're playing this map. Oh, I think I just got poisoned in some way. Oh, there's my exit. Do you need help or are you good? I'm kind of in a corner just killing withers. Fair enough. Sounds cool. So by the way, guys, I have downstairs. There's one With more just thing a I permanent did. wither effect on me. I'm going to replace these pulverizers. I've crafted ahead of time. So that is the furnaces. most withers I've ever killed. Nice. It's not more than I've killed, though. Actually, that would be my first time killing a wither too. Like ever? Like ever. You didn't kill any on this map? I don't think I did. I think you killed them all too fast. Really? Well, congratulations on your very first ever wither kill. I want to check out Deep Space Forgecraft. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Hold on, dude. There might be more stuff in here still. There's like all kinds of cool levels. Ooh, chemistry is all complete now. Hooray. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I kind of gave up on cookies. I actually did try to automate cookies, and nope, not happening. You can go away, you can go away, these things can go away. Oh, good no. Nope. What? Nope, nope, nope. It's full of blizzes and wizards. Uh, wizards. Mm. Um, witches. So this thing autonomously oh, it's a good spot for like harvest stuff. This thing certain things, but oh cookies. Stuff. Okay. This thing breaks it. So like if I were to tell this thing to ignore redstone, it would place down a block and break it using the crystal hammer. And then that gets sucked in by way of, a bunch of cookies, action. dude. What's that? I just found a bunch of cookies. Nice. And that pulls it into here. So the gem refiner is very weird. Um, also, even though these say smooth pulsating shards, how many cookies? An okay amount. Is it 50 octuple compressed? No. Then I am not excited. Um, even though they say rough pulsating shards and such, I got these by using the cookies to create the shard, and when you refine them, they do in fact turn into cookies sometimes. So you'll see here if I place these smooth shards in here. You just want to check out Deep Space Forgecraft because it says Forgecraft. Maybe. See how we're getting a cookie? But like that time it used seven. This time it used nine and didn't give a cookie. So I don't know what that's about. This time it used six and did give a cookie. This time it used, I don't know, I lost track nine and it didn't get a cookie. So like, I don't know what the All deal right, let's is. Let's see, oh, there's another chest. It's according to the recipe is supposed to be 16 of them give you cookies, but that's clearly not the number that's being pulled. Wow. What I'm happened? I'm actually impressed. What happened? A skeleton managed to kill me. I wonder if my armor broke. It's a good thing there's a spare set of wings in here. I mean, I can try this, but I decided this was being weird before. So let's see, west to south. 
Wes extract always active. So what are you up to? Insert. Trying to automate cookie production in a way that's that not terrible. How's that going terrible. for you? What's that? How's that going for you? Not super well. Why not? What have you done wrong? Um, the mod's kind of broken. So that is West. That's. We should consider upgrading this mod because I I've heard it's actually not. It works pretty well. Um, when we have a newer version. But notice how many shards. Like this actually all runs very fast, but the gem cutter for some reason does not get affected by the torturinos. Like these torturinos are both active and everything is faster except for the gem cutter. I don't know why his blocks aren't affected by torturinos. Would you have any guesses, Pahamar? I don't know, because I don't know how the torturino works. Okay. But you write mods, so you know everything about everything. Yes, by that logic. I'm just going to log correct. in and log out. Or log out log in, because I don't feel like my health is updating properly. Okay. Uh, do you want to come no, back no. after you've gotten your stuff and maybe we'll check out Deep Space Forgecraft? Or is it worth exploring in that um, place? And we don't forget we also have one more um, community spatial I.O. to look at. The Tormented. We do? Well, actually, we already did the Tormented. We did the Tormented. I'm going to complete the quest, though, because I just want to have it be 100% complete on as many things as we can. But like I said, I'm not going to actually do the cookie quest. That's fair. Community spatial areas, all quests completed. Yeah, like at this point, it's just the waiting game. Um, so I don't know how we're going to do this episode, Pahamar, but it might wind up being our last, believe it or not. Whoa. Well, I mean, I'll, I think if we check out Deep Space Forgecraft, um, you know, there's, there's not much else to see um and i feel like it would kind of be boring for the audience to just sit here and watch us wait for cobblestone to turn into glass so i might like do a cut and then come back after a lot's happened or something like that i can't disagree with that yeah yeah because already so as long as this recording's been going on we're up to 120,000 glass right now but we need a million so that's no fun do you want to come back in a minute or what sure i'm just gathering my stuff slowly so okay back in a second guys all right guys we're back Bahamar, i think we just discussed a plan and are in agreement indeed Ooh. oh okay that was weird yeah no i think we're in agreement Okay. Let's do the thing. We're doing the thing? We're doing the thing. All right, we're doing the thing. Uh, Pahamard and I decided that as we are currently at a position where we're simply waiting for um, the completion of things, we're going to do one-tenth of what the quest asks for. So we have 100,000 glass, and we're going to hand that in instead of a million because we completed the task, we automated what we needed to automate. It's now just a matter of sitting here and waiting for hours on end, and because we don't have chunk loaders in the pack, there's no real good way to do that. So we're just gonna hand in 100,000 and then mark it complete through the admin book. And we thought you guys would be cool with that because we did, in the spirit of things, and the same with the cookie quest, right? Like in the spirit of the cookie quest, but it's just a matter of sitting here and waiting for like a million years. A million. One million years. So I'm going to do this with one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Export wood. And that should start producing charcoal. Sweet. And export out the I'm box. just kind of flying around. You're just chilling. Oh, by the way, Deep Space Forgecraft was bugged. Yeah, we we loaded it up. I flew in there. That is Deep Space Forgecraft, and uh, there's nothing in it. So I do not know what age it is, what number it is, so I can't reset it. Well, we reset all the ages, though, so like... Not all of Or did I do all of them? You kind of did. Yeah, maybe that one's just not good. Maybe. So that should be there. Hello up there. 
Hello. So we'll knock all these guys out. So that should all be quick. Nice. So that should be producing a lot of charcoal for us. What's our charcoal production at? Yeah, look at the charcoal in the A system. Hold on. That's kind of funny. So now I'm going to tell Black Glass I want... Uh, apparently I'm too far away. Nope, not 176. 76,000. Cool. Plus the 24 we already have. That should be actually a very quick craft. Wow, okay, that won't take long. The charcoal? Nope. Yeah, a bit. The Black Glass should be very fast as well. I'm just about to reconfigure, so let's say... Lost in time, black glass, select task, configured. We will take the sugar canes off this. It's too bad we didn't find all the trophies. We're four trophies away and a potato. Well, you can look around if you want. I don't really feel like just mousing over every single block. Why not? Lazy. So is the man automating a world? It's what I do, Pymar. It's what I do. You're gonna do this in agrarian skies, aren't you? Yeah. Are we officially announcing the fact that we're doing agrarian skies too next? I can either well I guess you're here, so maybe I can't confirm it. So is that a confirmation of confirmations? You could interpret it as such. Thought that would be faster with that 4x speed, but oh well, maybe I'm crazy. That's a little faster. That'll do. All right, black glass is currently being handed in by Mar. When we get to 10%, we're going to call it complete. I guess I should give him a book. Yar. And while that's happening, uh, we've already got 10,000 um, charcoal. So we're 1% of the way there for charcoal smelting. It's kind of nice. Um, let's do, yeah. Over here, though, I've got my pattern terminal. Woot. And I should be able to access this here. So now our AE system, boom, should know how to make the only way to find everything here would just be to break every block. Yeah. Let's get a let's get a quarry going. Do we have quarries? Um we have the one from extra utilities. I would not recommend it. But you can do whatever you want. How is black glass coming along? Oh, we're almost at 10%. Dun, 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 dun. Black glass, 10%. All right, I'm getting the book. Black glass. You ready? Yes. Done. Nice. We got 10 legendary reward bags and five more torturinos. And now for charcoal. Select task. Done. Bound charcoal to the QDS. So what's 10% of the charcoal? 10,000 blocks of charcoal? So I guess in the end we'll need 90,000 charcoal burned. So we're not actually too far off. Um, let's do like... ...2,000. I think we should be ready to craft 2,000 of it. Yeah, 18k available. Boom. 
That should be actually very I got a cool craft. sword. You got what now? I have like a samurai sword. Fancy. Wow, it's actually like very deadly. Yeah, how much damage does it do? By the way, can I ask a serious question? Sure. Why is it raining in the end? I don't know. It's only raining through the holes I put the beacons, though. Well, that's because it's it's obsidian all around us. But like, if you went outside the obsidian sphere, yeah, there's, it's raining out there. Which, by the way, is where I found the sheep trophy. Really? Outside the obsidian? Yes, on the roof of this entire giant, giant sphere. I went out there to be like, why do I hear thunder? It doesn't rain in the end. So I went out there to see what was going on, and I'm like, well, I might as well fly around. And there was a sheep trophy. Was it in a skystone chest? There was a skystone chest out there, and it, the trophy was on top of the chest, and in the chest was one epic bag. So the giant platform at Bedrock up here is on fire. I noticed that, which was also strange to me. Ooh, soul fragments. They're mine now. Ooh, a snowman monster spawner. That's kind of cool. And mushrooms. And squid and blizz monster spawners. And cow and slime monster spawners. That's neat. Yeah, we've got a few of those now. Majolnir. The Molnir. Giant. Yeah, that one. We got one of those. Oh, it doesn't look that powerful. Attack we've is four and a half hearts. What's that? Look in the AE system for Kikoku. How do you spell that? K-I-K-O. You should be able to find the rest from that. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. Well, that's the extra utilities sword, isn't it? Yep. That's the sword that I killed you with on, um, on Forgecraft when you were in creative mode. Oh, that's the kill admin one. Yes. Do I not have to restore health on these guys? Am uh -oh. I done with this? Nice. I have booted off for some reason. Checking the status of the charcoal. That's what you get. It might be a few minutes for the charcoal to get up to 10% body. I've got all the wood. It's just a matter of smelting it now. Do you want to come back in a minute when we've gotten to 10%? Because I have nothing much else to do at the moment. Um, did you want to mark off the ender slaughter one? The one with the killing task of killing a thousand endermen? Yes, we can do that. I don't want to kill a thousand endermen. This is flagrant admin abuse. Flagrant. Oh look, we killed a thousand endermen, go us. We're absolutely terrible people. Who are awesome at this game. Ooh, okay, I got a ton of stuff here. Super Builder's Wand. Etheric Sword, Erosion Shuttle, Destructive Pickaxe, Healing Axe, Reversing Hoe, Heh, <laughs> sonar, go sonar Goggles, A Watering Can Reinforced, and Five Bedrock Ingots. Nice. Sonar Goggles are pretty fun. And a bunch of other stuff. You can complete the Cookies Quest if you want, because I'm just... Uh, no. I said no. The game totally says no about the cookies quest. It's probably a bug quest, and they're like, the only way you completed this is if you cheated, so we're just crashing you for trying. Yeah, the game refuses to believe you. Oh well, I got 20 legendary bags, so go yeah, me. Yeah, so did I. Woohoo. Throwing into my automated bag opener. Dun 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 dun. I keep getting a lot of the extra utilities um, block stuff. Fluffy unicorn sword. Fancy. All right, nothing terribly good. All right, what's this? Solar generator, 64X. That's neat. Soul fragments. Yay. I think my soul's fully re repaired at this point though from a previous soul fragment hand and so. I got a reward bag of reward bags. <laughs> 64 of them? No. Uh, 20 good bags, 10 greater bags, and 5 epic bags. Nice. We're up to 20k more of this stuff, so I can do another 2,000 coal. 
Charcoal. 2000 start. I got a dire hammer. Yay, dire hammer. I love dire hammer. It's the best hammer there is. Do you have a dire hammer? Not on this map, but I always make one on Forgecraft and stuff. There's your hammer. Woot, I crashed. Yes, dire hammer. Let's see if this is the way I traditionally make the dire hammer. It's hard to read with all these beacon buffs going on. Let's see if I'm far enough away from the beacon. Nope. That's better. Um, it has incorrect data. Oh, good, I can repair it. Uh, slimy, reinforced to cobalt. Well, it is a cobalt, so that's good. Um, yeah, I'd say that's on par with what I normally do. I usually have more upgrades on it, but that's cool. Dire Hammer, not bad. That gets a B-plus rating on the Dire Hammer scale. All right, let's come back when more charcoal has been crafted. Sounds good. All right, see you soon. All right, guys, we're back. Charcoal complete. We also managed to find all of the trophies. We did. We no, did. We Don't question me. I'm questioning you. The game's questioning me. Yeah. The game's like, no, you didn't. Ooh, a villager spawner. I could have used that earlier on. Dun, 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 dun. That's how my bag opener works. I love my bag opener. It works wonderfully. You just don't like that I'm messy. Um, true. I'm, I'm hey, the neat one. I'm better than uh, than Soren. <laughs> That's not a standard that you want to hold yourself to. It's better than the bottom. I guess. I mean, maybe. So let's see. Um, so secrets five. Ooh, cool. Retlo the potato. We did not really find him. Enderman trophy. Squid. Sweet. Um, that's interesting though. Secrets still says ninety three percent complete for me. It's not showing as fully completed. It's probably because there's hidden quests in there. Really? There's something in this drive. What drive? One of the quest reward drives had something oh, yeah. in it. You are correct, sir. What was in it? Uh, I don't know. I didn't put it in the A system. I can put it in this ME drive if you want. Oh, there we go. Ret low, infinity, X. Yeah. Oh, Just neat. tons and tons of these potatoes. That's cool. All right, Baham, are you ready for our series finale? Oh, goodness. Ready? Yep. Wait, wait, not in here. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Ah. What are you doing being blown up by a creeper for? I didn't think I was going to get warped into the spatial incubator. How'd you get warped into there? Because I broke the block that blocked it. Oh, okay. Wow, you really did upgrade the reactor. I did a little bit, yeah. 20k per tick, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I could have done better, but I got lazy again. Did you make it so I can't even work back to you? No. I can't hit the observatory. Why? I don't know. Where are you, Spatial I.O.? I'm in the Victory Monument. I can't... It's not That's showing weird. up. I'm okay. Do uh, Spatial I.O. And then observatory. Nothing, dude. Really? Seriously, you, I can't. You broke all the things. There. I'm not even allowed back into the observatory. Oh, there I we shot go. you. 
Wow, you uh, wrecked me. You got it? Nice. Alright, you wanna try and shoot me? No! <laughs> what are what what damage is your arrows doing? Um nineteen hearts. And that's one shotting me? I guess. That's that's base damage. Like that's before you factor in um, the speed of the arrows and such. So short bow attack, eighteen to thirty seven hearts based on the short bow. Which, you know, right, with the arrow see. speed probably. So if we were good. to take the two kills you just did with me right now, yeah. off, right. you and I have died the same amount of times. Really? Yeah, I've died eighty five times, you've died eighty three times, and you just killed me twice. Nice. That's funny. We both tied 83 times. That's awesome. Go ahead. Try and kill me. You can't kill me. I want you to know that. Like, I want you to know that I'm full on cheating right now. What? <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? Oh, you know, things and stuff. Oh, kicked by an operator. Nice. That's hacks. If, I'm full, if you're full of cheating, I... <laughs> I'm legit cheating, though. There's no legit cheating. Come here. No. I will show you how I'm legit cheating. You're a bad person. Here, pick that up. Oh, the white stone. See? Cool. Cool. Yeah. Well, I enjoyed Material Energy 4, Mr. Pahamar. Did you? I did too. Cool. I want you to know my inventory is completely full of white stones right now. That would do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So, uh, I think this wraps up a series for us. This is the third series we've done together, and we're about to start our fourth. We're going to do Agrarian Skies 2 by Jaded Cat. Um, I'm... I'm told there's many different things, like, that have changed and such. I don't know if you're aware of that. I've heard, I've heard of it as well. Yeah, like, there's new features in X-Nilo. There's... Did you back up the map? Because I thought we were uploading this for people. I do have a backup of the map. Okay, cool. All right. We, we were going to upload this. I don't know if you guys want this map. I don't understand why you would want this map, but we're going to upload it for you, for those of you who might. Because why not? All I did was blow a little hole in the roof. Yeah, I know. But, uh, yeah, no, we're going to do Agrarian Skies 2. I'm really looking forward to Agrarian. I had a lot of fun in Agrarian Skies, and I'm super looking forward to doing the second one. Because as fun as Agrarian Skies was, it was also kind of like the first HQM map. So, like, a lot has been improved and changed with just the HQM mod and, you know, the, the abilities of what it can do. So I feel like Agrarian Skies 2 is going to just be that much cooler. Do you somewhat agree, Pahamar? Are you too busy trying yeah. to set up explosions? You're like, yeah, <laughs> explosions. Ah. I'm fixing the roof. Okay, good. Yeah, fix that. Builder's wand, buddy. Yes, boss. Good. All right, guys, so that wraps up the Material Energy Hypercube series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned because I think... I mean, unless, you know, for some reason we can't, Pahamar, I think, like, we're going to maintain our every three-day schedule that we currently have and just jump right into Agrarian Skies 2. So, like, stay tuned, guys. Like, it, it'll be here in three days. We'll have Agrarian Skies 2 going in episode one. Cool? Yeah, yeah. Let's hope. Let's hope. Cool. Oh, wow, that was server lag just a little bit. <laughs> You're right. right. Yeah. Die. All right, guys. I'm not done fixing things. I'm sure you're not. <laughs> All right, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.